Welcome to my new series called Breaking It Down, where I take my short form content and break it down bit by bit in a long form format. If you like short form content, do not worry, girl, I got you. Go check out some of my shorts. And if you're the kind of person that really likes the details of every look, like what did she use? What eyeshadow was that? Where can I get that brush? That's where I break down everything in the long form. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for the next time that I upload if you're interested in this kind of content. All right, let's get into it. I'm starting off with one of my favorite primers, my Bellamy Illuminating Primer. I love this primer because it gives a very beautiful, glowy, and radiant look to the skin. Do you guys actually remember that Becca Backlight Priming Filter? It kind of reminds me of that product, and I just loved it. So as my skin matures, I feel like it's getting harder to find a foundation that doesn't leave it feeling dry or exaggerates my fine lines and wrinkles. So I've been experimenting with several different brands and I recently purchased this Born This Way Matte Foundation. It's uh, in the color of vanilla. So I'm applying it with the Mary Kay Liquid Foundation Brush and I love how soft and light my foundation looked using this brush. So far, I'm really, really liking this foundation and I don't mind that it's matte either. Next up, I'm taking my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the color Almond, and I'm blending it out with my Mary Kay Blending Brush. I'm using this to cover up my dark under eye circles, also that dark pigmentation that I get on my eyelids. I don't know if anybody else gets those, but I get them real bad. I feel like this concealer can be used like as a foundation too on its own. It covers up so much, and if you use the right amount and set it properly, it won't cake up on you. I'll be doing a full review on the Born This Way foundation and the concealer later on my channel, so be on the lookout for that. To set my T-zone and concealer, I'm using my Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder. In all honesty, you guys, I just recently fell in love with this product. I just don't think I gave it like a fair shot when it first came out, and that was like years ago. So I don't know why, but for some reason, I thought it was like sparkly. Recently, I decided to try it out again, and I was like super, super surprised when I realized it's not sparkly at all, Christina. Like, what the heck? <laughs> It almost has this like illuminating factor to it. It leaves the skin looking so beautiful. Combined with this puff that I purchased on Amazon, I feel like it really sets the makeup and it stays all day. Plus it doesn't leave my under eyes looking cakey and that alone is a win for me. For the rest of my face, I'm setting it with, okay, get ready for it. Miss Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade two medium. Jeez Louise, that's a mouthful. <laughs> and I'm using my jumbo powder brush by Crown Brush. This pressed powder is incredibly pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. Now it's time to bring some warmth back to my skin. I'm using one of my OG favorites here. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Deep, and I'm applying it with my Precision Powder Brush by Crown Brush. I love this product. It's a baked powder. It gives a sheer coverage, which is ideal for days that I'm going for a more natural look. And I really like using it to contour. It adds dimension to my face. As you can see, I even contour like my crease. So it's perfect. I then use my jumbo brush again, just to tap all over the edges to make sure they're blended in nicely. For brows, I'm going into a newer product that I just recently purchased and I've been loving it lately. It's my Arches and Halos Duo Luxury Brow Powder in the color Nutra Brown and I'm setting them with equally loved 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. If you'd love to see my full review on this Arches and Halos product, I'll add that video in the description box below. The brush I'm using is an oldie but goodie. It's the Dual Ended Angled Brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And ironically, this brow powder by Arches and Hills actually reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, but at a fraction of the cost. I love using the angled side of this brush to build the product up, and then I use the brush side to diffuse the product on the brows and give it a softer look. Finish these babies off with my brow setter, and I'm good to go. My son Aaron picked out this Maybelline The City Mini Palette called Downtown Sunrise for me in a vlog video we did together. If you haven't checked that one out, I'll link it below. This is the perfect little palette, especially for traveling. The eyeshadow colors pack a punch. The best part is I only use three eyeshadow brushes with this look, and that may not impress you, I know, but let me tell you, some makeup looks, I actually use like 15 brushes for the eyes alone. So this was quick and easy for me. For the crease, I'm using the Morphe M441. For the outer V, I used my Sigma E25 blending brush. And for the lid, I went in with my oldie but goodie Cinema Secrets Shadow Fluff Brush number four. I was actually really impressed with this little palette. I felt like the colors blended so nicely. They were pigmented. I've been reaching for this one recently on days when I just want a quick look to go run errands or meet up with my friends. 
Time to rosy up these cheeks. I'm going in with my Laura Geller New York Baked Blush and Brighten in the color Tropic Hues, and I'm applying it with my Mary Kay Cheek Brush. I love this product because it gives the perfect rosiness and not overpowering shimmer to my cheeks, so it's so pretty. Okay, that was obnoxious, but seriously, this pretty vulgar highlighter in the color Shimmering Swan is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. It sits so beautifully on the skin. It's not super chunky, and you won't look like a disco ball, I promise. It is just like the perfect amount of glow. When I'm going for a natural dewy kind of glow, this is definitely my go-to. For mascara, I'm using my Mary Kay Lash Love Fanorama Mascara. This brush is super unique because it helps you to coat the lashes and then the bristles extend all the way to the tip. So as you'll see, I use the tip of the brush to comb and fan out my lashes. I love how it leaves them looking wispy and long and I especially love using this on the bottom of my lashes. Now for a mom on the go look, this part is definitely optional. You can always just go in with a gloss or come on, let's be real, like a chapstick, whatever. I opted for like a nudish lip. I'm using my Vintage by Jessica Cashmere Lip Pencil in the color Mocha, my Mary Kay Gel Semi Matte Lipstick in Subdued Nude, and I'm topping it off with my Mary Kay Unlimited Lip Gloss in the color Soft Nude. All these lip products are super comfortable on my lips. They don't dry them out. They're long wearing, so I don't mind using them for an on-the-go look. Finally, I'm using my Ride or Die MAC Fix Plus to set my face and also more importantly to bring some shine and moisture back to my skin. This really helps make my skin look more dewy than matte when I use it. All right guys, to finish off this entire look, you must now do random hair flipping and eye loving to the camera. Come on now, you have to do this part. Your look is not complete if you don't. I love you guys all so much and appreciate all the love you've given me on my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.